Hello, hopelessly addicted golfers. Uh, my name is Kevin Kraft. I am a master club fitter with Second Swing Golf in Columbia, Maryland. Um, most of my cohorts here at Second Swing call me Buzz. Um, that's a long story. Um, one we might get into, who knows. Um, I am going to start a new video series called what the buzz is all about. Um, I have been a tournament player now for uh, a large number of years and uh, with the exception of about a seven year break. Um, I played mini tour golf for 10 years and then spent four years on what's now the Corn Ferry Tour. Back then it was Nationwide Tour. Um, contemporaries at the time included Jason Day, Bubba Watson, Brant Snedeker, Jason Duffner, Matt Kuchar. Um, so I was in pretty good company back then. Um, in 2008, I walked away from tournament golf and uh, began focusing more on club fitting and instruction. Um, I had some things going on off the golf course that uh, did a pretty good number on the six inches between my ears, um, which is definitely something we'll cover in this series. Um, I ended up um, coming back to play tournament golf again in 2015, and uh, in 2018 sort of culminated all that with a win at the Pennsylvania State Open. Um, not the biggest check I ever made, but certainly one that uh, probably meant more to me than any other event that I've won. Um, since then, I've continued playing uh, a fair bit of competitive golf. Um, not so much this year because uh, COVID has definitely kind of put a major uh, spanner in the, in the works for, for this season. Um, but I did go play the Pennsylvania State Open again this year. And what I realized was that I have taken my game for granted. Uh, I just assume that I can go out and shoot 69 anytime I want. Well, guess what? I can't. Um, so what this series is going to kind of document is um, the changes that I need to make and the way I'm going to go about trying to become a more competitive, um, more consistent, and, you know, um, just a player that can go out and, and truly achieve what he's trying to achieve. So what that is for me, actually, is um, this year I was trying to gear up for the Champions Q School, which isn't going to take place. <laughs> it's going to be a wraparound season for those who have uh, status right now. Um, I'm 49 years old. I'll be 50 in February. Um, so I'm about to hit that threshold where I get to play in some senior events. And I think that's going to be fun. So the idea was to, to be getting ready for that. Um, I had a bunch of tournaments on the schedule this year, and only like three of them actually took place. So uh, didn't get much didn't get much done. Um, went to the Pennsylvania State Open this year at Oakmont, which is phenomenal. I mean, cannot say enough about Oakmont Golf Club. I realized after. 24 to 48 hours of reflection and licking my wounds after posting a really solid pair of 78s at the State Open. First time I've missed the cut at the State Open since uh, I started playing in 2015. That something's got to change. Um, I went to Oakmont having practiced for two weeks before the tournament. As we go through this series, some of that this will probably be shot in here uh, at Second Swing in Columbia. Uh, a lot of it's going to be shot in my car because I have a two-hour commute to and from work, which gives me lots of time to reflect on things. 
Um, and a lot, another portion of it will be done on the driving range or on the golf course. Um, I'm going to try to make this as all-encompassing as possible. Um, I want to do some instruction with it. I want to do some demonstration with it. Uh, I want to talk about drills and uh, certainly a lot on the mental side of things because that's certainly something that I'm struggling with right now. I am deeply in my own head. Um, I think it will be an interesting series. I hope it'll be an interesting series uh, that you'll get kind of an, uh, a look inside, you know, the the mind and the golf swing of somebody who's working towards something. And I mean, I truly believe I have the ability to play out there on Champions Tour uh, for today's purposes. Basically, I just wanted to do an in, kind of an introduction, um, get a little background, and we will um, do another one of these soon. Probably going to be put out maybe every other week, something like that. Uh, we'll see how the the winter weather uh, treats us this year. If it's anything like last year, it'll be easy to put out content because we had great winter. So, anyhow. Um, Welcome to What the Buzz is All About, and uh, I hope you'll enjoy it, and your comments and questions and input is 100% invited. Uh, I want to make this as, um, as much for you as it is for me, and hopefully we can, uh, we can do something fun and special. All right, see you soon.